Algebra 1 students, and welcome to the tutorial on writing equations for parallel lines. Okay, so the one major concept here when writing equations for parallel lines is that two lines that are parallel have the same slope. So here's a very, very easy example. Given y equals 1 half x plus 1, find an equation, any equation, of a line that's parallel to that one. Well, to be parallel to this has to have the same slope. We're going to let it have a different y-intercept. So a line that's parallel to y equals 1 half x plus 1 might be like y equals 1 half x plus 2. Or, if you want to get crazy, y equals 1 half x minus 1. So all we did there is we changed the uh, y, uh, we changed the y-intercept. Parallel lines have to have the same slope. In fact, all three of these lines here are parallel because all three lines have the same slope. So, um, you know, we can get a little bit more difficult than that. What if we want to be parallel to this line y equals 1 half x plus 1, uh, but through some specific points. We want to be parallel to y equals 1 half x plus 1, but through the point negative 7, uh, 2. Negative 7, 2. Okay. So in this case, we know that our slope is going to be 1 half. So we have y equals 1 half x plus b. Uh, now, we have to plug in this point for x and y. Plug in the 2 for the y value and negative 7 for the x value. So we have 2 is equal to 1 half, and the x value is negative 7. This is plus b. So 2 is negative 7 halves plus b. I multiplied 1 half by negative 7. Uh, this is negative 7 over 1. To multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across. So I have negative 7 halves. To get b by itself, we add 7 halves to both sides. So this tells me that b is 2 plus 7 halves. To get a common denominator here, I multiply the 2 top and bottom by 2. I get 4 over 2 plus 7 over 2, which is 11 over 2. 11 halves, or 5.5. Uh, so the equation of my line that is parallel to y equals 1 half x plus 1 but through the point, negative 7, 2, is y equals 1 half x plus 11 halves. That's it. Now, uh, if you know point-slope form, then this becomes uh, a bit easier. Because the point-slope form of the line would be just y minus 2 is 1 half times uh, x plus 7. So if you know point-slope form, you can use point-slope form and it makes it, makes it a bit easier. Um, we don't spend a whole lot of time on point-slope form at, at my school, so uh, we, we tend to keep things in slope-intercept form. All right, we can, we can make this um, a bit more challenging. We can make this a bit more challenging. So what if we want, so find the equation of the line parallel to the line that contains any two points you want. How about 1, 1 and uh, 3, 8. So find the equation of the line that is parallel to the line that contains 1, 1 and 3, 8 but through, but through negative 3, negative 2. Okay. So conceptually what we have going on here is we have two points that determine a line. And we're going to find the line that's parallel to the line determined by this, these two points, but through this point. So the first thing we're going to do is find the slope of our line which is going to be the same as the slope of this line. So the slope, m, is going to be 8 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. 
So this is 7 halves, 7 over 2. So I know that my line is going to be y equals 7 halves x plus something. I don't know. But we're going to find out. B, I'm going to find you right now by plugging in negative 2 for y and negative 3 for x. So I have negative 2 is 7 halves times negative 3 plus b. So I have negative 2 is negative 21 halves plus b. And so b, I'm going to add 21 halves to both sides, is negative 2 plus 21 halves. We should find a common denominator by multiplying this 2 top and bottom by 2. And so this is negative 4 over 2 plus 21 over 2. That's 17 over 2. 17 halves, 8.5. So the equation of my line is y equals 7 halves x plus uh, 17 halves. And again, if you know point slope form, you would just set this equal to m, and this is your x1 and this is your y1. So it would be y plus 2 equals 7 halves times x plus 3. So here's how you find equations of lines parallel to a given line. I hope, I hope it helps.